I'll take punctuation marks for 300. A punctuation mark indicating an exclamation. Alexis? Is it an exclamation point? Correct. Select again. 600, same category. A punctuation mark indicating a pause between parts of a sentence. It is also used to separate items in a list and to mark the place of thousands in a large numeral or a minute interval or difference of pitch. Alexis again. And I know the decimal point in Europe. Is it a comma? That's the one. Select another. Punctuation, 900. These punctuation marks are used to separate sentences or elements of reference lists. Alexis once again. Is it a period? I knew you could get it right. Select again if you can. Punctuation for 1200. This punctuation mark that indicates an interrogative clause or phrase in many languages. Alexis yet again. Is it a question mark? Boom. You've got that one right. Go again. Make that category exit for 1500. And Alexis, you gave a good start to this round and also discovered the extra money thing. Now, Alexis, you might not have enough money for a big one. You may do a true blue if you like. How much do you want to risk? A simple 2.5 grand could do. Okay, $2,500 to make it 5500 And here's your clue. Pay special attention to it. These punctuation marks are used in pairs in various writing systems to set off direct speech, a quotation, or a phrase. The pair consists of an opening and a closing, which may or may not be the same character. And yet, are they quotation marks? Absolutely. What a great way to wrap up a category, Alexis. Go again. I'll take, aren't you lucky, for 300. You woke up this morning, breathing and with a heartbeat. You get to enjoy today and hopefully wake up again tomorrow. You get to see your family and friends, and enjoy food and this daily parts luxuries. It can sometimes be easy to forget to be grateful for the most basic thing, this itself. Riley? Is it death? Nope. Alexis or Antonio? Looking for life on that one. Alexis, back to you. Lucky for 600. At least you have this. Heard that before? According to Valerie Rice, holistic living editor for Belly Fnet, you should be grateful for this because it is the foundation of who you are. According to Rice, you don't necessarily need to be physically and mentally well to feel healthy, but when you do feel healthy, it's one of life's greatest blessings. Antonio? Is it health? We'll accept that. You are now in control of the board. Since I am praying that Trick Moon will become a show someday, I think I'll have Trick Moon for 900. Despite receiving positive reception from people Cartoon Network chose to reject it due to this going on at Warner Media itself. This was confirmed on Geneva's Twitter account in a post made on October 16, 2020. Yes, Riley? Is it corporate restructuring? You got it. You are now in control of the board. Trick Moon for 12. The frog character named after this small picturesque cave bears a striking resemblance to a Hello Kitty character Kirapi and he is similar to Chubbum from Mau Mau, Heroes of Pure Heart. Yes, Alexis? Is it Grotto? We'll take it. Go again. Lucky for 900. People often complain about their job calling it the daily grind or worse. But having a job is something for which you can really be grateful. A job probably gets you out of the house every day and adds variety into your daily life so that you are not just sitting at home on the couch. Even more, a job helps you pay your bills and means you're not standing in the unemployment line or wondering how you're going to eat each week. So even if you don't have the most exciting job in the world, Remember to feel some gratitude for it every once in a while, because your life would be a lot different without it. Yes, Antonio? Is it employment? Perfect. Select again. Trick Moon for 15. Despite the abrupt news in October, there is still a strong dedicated fan base for the pilot, with multiple these made to get it green light by HBO Max, Disney Plus, Netflix or Disney. They are petitions. 
Riley, continue. Pop cap games for 300. This game involves lining up three or more multicolored gems to clear them from the game board, with chain reactions potentially following. Alexis, is it Bejewel? Right on. Select another clue. Pop cap, 600. From a grid of available letters, players connect letters to form words. As words are formed, they are removed from the grid and the remaining letters collapse to fill the available space in this game. Can you spell the words correctly? Alexis again. Is it bookworm? Awesome. Select another. 900, same category. This game is a 2001 virtual pet simulator video game developed by Flying Bear Entertainment and published by PopCap Games. Before PopCap Games' involvement, the game was a web-based Java game released in 2001. Alexis once again. Is it in San Aquarium? I knew you could get it right. Select again if you can. PopCap Games, 1200. This game is a 2009 tower defense video game developed and published by PopCap Games. First released for Windows and Mac OS X, the game has since been ported to consoles, handhelds, and mobile devices. The player takes the role of a homeowner amid a zombie apocalypse. Antonio? Is it plant vs. zombies? We'll accept that. You are now in control of the board. PopCap Games, 15. This puzzle video game released for the Microsoft Windows and Mac OS X in 2005. A deluxe version was released later in the year. The story follows a young Greek man named Claudius who is shipwrecked and rebuilds temple mosaics in order to gain the favor of the gods. Riley? Is it some sort of ancient puzzle game? No. <laughs> Antonio? Is it pixelous? We'll accept that. And that brings you to 4200. Almost half of Alexa's score of 8,500, and that brings us to our first game. We'll be right back after this. If you want to participate in Tales Landian Gardens trivia games, call 893-479-6005. Go to avellobreezestudios.net or sign up in person at 2899 New Haven Road, Chainsville, Georgia, 30778. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.